Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Future work of the expert mechanics related to thematic studies and conclusions. The regular session was held of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. In occupied Shushit, the Khachkars in the territory of Tank Monument were destroyed. Teachers from different states of the USA being trained in Armenia will teach the history on the genocide against Armenians. The new slander of Baku. The steps from UNESCO on the historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh were discussed. Armenian chess players are among the leaders in the international tournament in Georgia. Mr. Armen Abrahamian, the president of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, presented some interesting facts from the FAO website at the 17th session of the expert mechanisms on the rights of indigenous peoples in Geneva. As of 2021, out of a total of 8,771 breeds of Amazon birds exploited in food and agriculture in the world, 2,281 were assessed as endangered and 619 as extinct. There are about 400,000 plant species. There are more than 160,000 species of fish, mollusk, aquatic plants, on the planet. Microorganisms and invertebrates are the most diverse species group. However, 99% of bacteria and protists remain unknown. Mr. Armenak Abrahamian noted that the issue of genetic resources is vital for indigenous peoples in this respect and is important in terms of their life of their constituent cells. That is why one of the topics that could become the subject of a more in-depth study is the identification of inconsistencies between international legal instruments which are intended for indigenous peoples for their genetic resources and their right to self-determination. An example is the correspondence of Article 26 to Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. First, indigenous peoples have the right to the lands, territories, and resources that they have traditionally owned, used, or acquired. Convention on Biological Diversity states that states will have sovereign rights over their biological resources. Compliance with Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the International Treaty on Phylogenetic Resources for Food and Agriculture, Article 9. Compliance with Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and International Labor Organization Organization Convention 169, Article 13, 14, 15. Compliance with Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the WIPO Convention on Genetic Resources and Traditional Knowledge. In particular, Article 2 and 4 recently adopted by WIPO in the presence of several indigenous delegations but without consensus on the right of genetic resources owners and traditional knowledge. Compliance with Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and the UNESCO Heritage Convention, Article 1 and Article 2. On 10 July, the regular session was held of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. The agenda of the session was presented by the Chairwoman of the National Assembly, Nelly Harutsunyan. In the first part of the agenda, the themes of relevance and validity were discussed on the draft connecting with Western Armenia. A number of deputies shared their ideas on the draft they have. Opinions were expressed on the actual program. The second question was how to make the execution of works of National Assembly more effective. Many of the members of deputies shared their ideas as well. At the end of the session, a number of other current issues were also discussed. After the complete occupation of Artsakh in September 2023, Baku first demonstratively dismantled the famous tank monument near the city of Shushi, which was the symbol of the liberation struggle of Artsakh. Tank was the symbol of victory, where tributes are paid to the memory of heroes who died in the liberation struggle of Shushi. And recently, blogger Kiamran Razmavar published a video from near the tank monument where it can be seen that they also destroyed the Hajkars place near the monument. The plaques immortalized the names of the freedom warriors. In particular, the Hajkar erected in 2021 in memory of Hakko Paratunyan, who died in the 44 day war in Karintak, was broken, as well as the other Hajkars erected in the area. This was by the independent academic platform monitoring the cultural heritage of Artsakh. For the third year in a row, 15 American teachers are participating in the program of the American organization Genocide Education Project. Within the framework of the 10-day program, a training program for American teachers is being organized, the purpose of which is to present to American teachers the history of the genocide against Armenians through courses organized by studying real facts and archival documents. In a conversation with Armen Press, the director of the program, Armenian-American Roxanne Makajjan, explained that years ago, all of was passed in that 
state of California, according to which materials about the genocide should be prepared and thought in American schools. However, after some time, they realized that no work is being carried out in that direction because no funds were provided for that purpose. According to her, based on this circumstance, they found it necessary to create an organization that would help schools and teachers to have relevant materials and trained personnel on the topic who will properly present and teach the history of the genocide against Armenians. She emphasized that the work carried out was very effective and even their participating teachers expressed surprise, seeing that they always wanted to address this topic but did not know where to start. The executive director also added that the reason for this is that there has always been a very serious counter-propaganda about the history of the genocide committed against Armenian and American teachers often don't know where to find reliable and true information about the history. The Ministry of Culture of Baku and the Intellectual Property Agency issued a joint statement regarding the illegal appropriation and copyright infringement of the musical work Karabakh by Baku composer Bahram Nazibov. In the joint statement, it is said that the cases of appropriation of the works and folklore of Baku authors by Armenians are continuing. In the joint statement, it is said that the cases of appropriation of the works and folklore of Baku authors by Armenians are continuing. It is mentioned that another such case is related to Gorye Premian. He performed the composition Karabakh, the author of the words and music of which is the famous Baku composer Bahram Maznazibov, as weekly newspaper wrote about this. They note that in the not so distant past, Eastern Armenia accused Baku of plagiarism and appropriating um, Armenian culture turned to UNESCO and proved with the fact that our nomadic neighbors with a century old biography have great appetite and ambitions. And in the recent years, almost every day, Baku has been ensuring new threats and slanders. On 10 July, Adam Hagopian, the permanent representative of Eastern Armenia to UNESCO, handed over his credentials to UNESCO Director General Andrei Azulay. The interlocutors discussed the prospects of expanding cooperation between UNESCO and Eastern Armenia. Referring to the initiatives implemented by UNESCO in the direction of the protection of cultural heritage, Adam Hagopian drew attention to the threats to our historical and cultural heritage and emphasized the importance of effective steps expected from UNESCO. There are three rounds left to the end of the International Chess Tournament and 8th Batumi Municipality Cup in the city of Batumi, Georgia. Now, International Stefan Pogosian is the sole leader in Group A who has five points out of six possible. Grandmaster Levon Babujan and Simon Mokorchan have four adopt five points and occupy the fourth and fifth positions respectively. Manuel Hakopian is the sole leader in Group B, having won all six games. Gorgri Koyan and Armen Hayatunyan are the leaders in the group of boys under 12 years old and who have five points. In the group of girls under 12 years of age, Angelina Mirakian is the sole leader with five top five points. Mikhail Saksan is the sole leader in the group of boys under 10 years old, who has five points. Let's remember that 88 chess players from Armenia are participating in the tournament. This was all for today. Goodbye.